Yo, what up everybody? This is your boy Food Junkie and I'm coming to you on my way to work where we are liable to talk about anything and everything, anyone and everyone. Y'all know how this works. Y'all keep me company and hopefully I keep you guys entertained. Um, this conversation I want to have with you today is about a comment that was left on my last upload. Not my last video, my last upload, which was yesterday. The one where I said, um, Sean Bradley and Club Chat, please continue to um, inspire the children. Well, the comment was basically, and not so many words, I'm not, not going to do it for verbatim because I'm not trying to remember or remember right it was not, but the basic gist was if people, first of, first of all, it started by saying the title of your um, video was funny. I took a little, you know, saying like, oh, okay, they, they, they're, they're trying to be um, shady or it's not, whatever, whatever, but who cares? You know, people are who they are. I put on, I put information out there so people can comment on it. But keep in mind, it doesn't stop me from commenting on your comments. <laughs> it doesn't stop me from commenting on your comments. Like I said, be respectful and be keep it cute. So I try to keep it cute. So the comment was, your, um, your title of your video is funny, what's not? I constantly hear keep SB and CC name out of it. It's, um, when I entered into the mess, well, it's not, it's all Sean's fault. Da, da, da. Um, basically saying that, you know, if we don't want, I mean, you don't understand why people keep inserting themselves into stuff that doesn't pertain to them, be it on Patreon or be it um, on video, it's not talking or ranting about certain things. Da, 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 da. If you stick to reviews and stuff that you know about that pertain to you, you will stay out of the mess. Well, clearly the individual didn't really watch the whole video. Clearly the individual who left that comment was not, was trying to be funny, trying to be messy, trying to be shady. I've seen the individual around these streets before, not in my chat, well it's not, but in, you know, other people's chats that I am in the bushes of, well it's not. They are very vocal in these chats, they're very talkative in these chats. They, you know saying, do a lot in these chats to talk about or comment on Sean Bradley and or Club Chat. As a subscriber, I should say. Because this individual doesn't have a channel that has actual content on it. This individual is, you know what I'm saying, one of those people who like to insert themselves as subscribers into business that has nothing to do with them. So to you, subscriber, one who watched the video, who left a comment on my page. First off, thank you for the view. Thank you for the click. I appreciate that. Secondly, if you watched my entire video, you would have got the gist of why I did what I did. Once again, why I did what I did. <laughs> See, the person that I was mocking or poking at is the person that chose a couple days ago to put my name in the video and call me out my name. Called me a flunky once again. I said that in the video yesterday. But I find I found it ironic and hypocritical for that same individual to go so hard about an event that happened but yet still chose to use the same business model or planning model, I should say, both, actually, as the members that he chose to try to downgrade and degrade, down to the point of early payment, discount, later payment, pay more money, from the same thing as to those who came to my first event, you can help me play my second event, you know what I'm saying? See, it's easy to sit back behind a computer as a subscriber and make noise and have little quick little comments and things like that while it's not, and not actually put your face and feet in a fire to be criticized, to be questioned, to be talked about, to be liked and or disliked. It's easy as a subscriber to sit back and make comments and go from here to there to here or there was not without having people address you. I won't address you by name because people can easily go to my comment section of that video and know exactly what I'm talking about based on what I'm saying to you. 
but it takes a little bit more balls and courage to put yourself out there make a definitive statement and stand in it I think Shelly said this she don't respect any bitch who don't have the balls to put their face on the screen or their voice on the screen or their opinion on the screen in a video but sit back in comment sections and choose to try to come up with quick sarcastic quips to stump someone I don't understand how people don't get this message from me. I say it and have said it all too often. I don't get checked <laughs> by anybody. I said what I said and I will say what it is that I want to say. If you want to say something to Sean Bradley, say it to Sean Bradley. Don't try to use me as a conduit to relay information to people that you want to say things to because maybe they have blocked you already. You see how they do, how that works? I guess you think that you're smart enough to slide something in there and I won't catch what it is that you're trying to do. I guess you think that you are smart enough, quick enough, swift enough, more intelligent than I, that you can use your misgrammar, misspelled, wrong punctuations in a statement to me to get me together. Before you hit that send button, try to proofread what you wrote. Make sure that all the words are there. So I don't have to try to decipher what it is that you're trying to say. Make sure that the punctuations are right so I can stop and break and rest at the proper times in order for me to get the message that you're trying to relay. Make sure that your grammar is up to par before you speak to me again. <laughs> you see how I can do this? I told you. I told all of everyone who watches this or everyone who sees this what's not. I can read you in several different ways. I can get you together in several different ways. You're not going to win something when you're typing something and I have a voice on the screen. Because I could address you by calling you by your name, but why would I let you have clout based on my name? But nonetheless, you still will be getting addressed. Do you think that the people that you're trying to um, windmill for will do the same thing for you? Do you think that coming on my video trying to be a smart ass that now that I'm addressing you, the people that you are trying to be a smart ass for will come to your defense? The people that you're defending will defend you? Baby, don't even know you exist. <laughs> they don't even know that you exist. You are just a number to them, one of many. And those people don't understand. You're out here windmilling, fighting, getting drugged in these streets and getting drugged into situations that don't belong to you or pertain to you over someone that don't know that you exist. For someone who wouldn't recognize you in a crowd or even if you were standing by yourself, they wouldn't recognize who you were. They wouldn't know who you were. So to all these people out there with these nameless, faceless profiles out there what's not, who choose to try to troll people, who choose to try to defend someone or make a comment in someone's name or to de defend someone's honor, ask yourself this question. If that person was to walk past me, will they recognize me? Will they know who I am? Will they know what I've done for them? Will they appreciate what I've done for them? Will they appreciate the fact that I got drug on these streets in their name? Mm. <laughs> Something to think about, right? Something to think about. Before you put yourself out there in a position 
to get drugged every time I see you now. Would it have been worth it for you to try to be smart in my comment section? You could say that you weren't getting smart, but you were. Highly intelligent, extremely perceptive, have great discernment. And when I say I have these things, was well, not, I actually exercise these things. I actually use these things to my advantage for me to move forward in life. So, what's the point of someone dragging myself into it? I don't know what era this one is. I can't speak for the entire club chat. I can't even speak for um, Sean Bradley. I told you why I did what I did yesterday. And if you're too deaf to hear it and understand it, that has nothing to do with me. The answers that you seek was answered before you even asked the question. The answers that you um, seek was even before you tried to get smart with me. The answers that you seek was in the video already. And in this one, if you can catch it. See, I need people to stop trying to defend everyone and stand in their own stuff. While I am a proud member of Club Chat, I'm an even prouder member of who I am, Food Junkie. Don't ask me questions in my comment section about someone else. Ask me questions about myself. Ask me questions about me. Ask me why I did something, why I do something. Don't think you can slick shade in my comment section and not help me address it. Don't think that you can slick shade and not have me tell you exactly what it is that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I pretty much already have told you previously. Like I said, I told you in the video that I made that you commented on why I'm doing what I'm doing. This person I'm doing it to. And the title of the video wasn't funny. It was to meant, well, it, was, it was meant to be funny. Ha ha, not funny as in whatever type of funny. And it was to point out the hypocrisy that people have. You're taking notes Applying what you have learned from someone that you outwardly despise and is disgusted by so you want people to believe. But yet you're taking the same business model from them. I understand based on you not being able to answer the own questions that was already asked or answered in um, my video. I understand that. So I understand why you probably wouldn't have gotten what was meant to be gotten and what pretty much everyone else has gotten from me. You know, I can't control that. It is what it is. You are who you are. I am what I am. You know, your mental capability is not, you know what I'm saying, clearly not there yet. See, it's just a sad case that, like I said before, you're out here windmilling and trying to get smart and sarcastic with people that's not that, or sorry, for people that don't even know that you are alive. They don't even know that you exist. They would be able to recognize you if they walk past you. But yet, but yet you are out here caping for inserting yourself into looking for answers why what's your end game what are you hopefully trying to accomplish by doing so <laughs> see such an inquisitive bastard I am right how dare I ask you questions 
to the other question. How dare you insert yourself in something that doesn't belong to you or pertain to you? See, just because you choose to be anonymous by not having a picture or a profile or have an actual um, operating channel that you do videos on, doesn't make you anonymous. Doesn't make you some victim if I choose to come at you because you chose to come at me in a way that I didn't like. See how that works? See how that works? See, people think that, oh, well, oh, you're attacking a subscriber. There's a, 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 a subscriber. No, it's a smart ass individual who tried to come into my channel, but it's not, and check me. I don't get checked. What don't y'all understand about that? I will address who I want to address, how I want to address them, when I choose to address them. What part of anyone and everyone can get it, don't people understand? I think I've been showing people that I mean what I say since the very beginning. I'm just saying. But yeah. I mean, you, you can be respectful come on and try to ask a question what's not, but don't do it with a um, smart ass, um, to, you know, agenda behind it. Trying to check someone, trying to get at someone else that had nothing to do with me. See how that works, baby? I see it, I get it, I address it at my leisure. Don't think that you're gonna come over here in my house and be disrespectful. Don't think you're gonna come over in my house and do whatever it is that you want to do. However it is that you want to do it. You have a channel, of course, you have something that you can comment from. Be respectful in doing so. You're always at work, you guys. I want y'all to have a great day. Be safe. You know what I'm saying? As I always say, don't ingest everything that I say in its totality. Take the bits and pieces of it that nourishes you, that makes you a better person, that makes you smarter, wiser, more fulfilled, and discard the rest. Eat the meat and spit out the bones. Eat the meat and spit out the bones. Take in what nourishes you, what makes you a better person, what makes you a stronger person, and truly discard the rest. If it doesn't pertain to you, bypassed it. What do they say? If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Same difference. Once again, you guys, love yourself, love someone else, respect yourself, and definitely respect someone else. Until next time, you guys, it's your boy Food Junkie. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your respectful conversation and being an active participant in this, on this channel. I really do appreciate it. Remember, be respectful. I am so up for differences of opinion and differences of seeing things and questions being asked and the goodness in which it was meant to be asked. But be respectful. Y'all have a great day. Love you. Boy, food journey. And I'm out. Peace out, y'all.